Okay, so imagine this. You are the managing broker for a real estate firm. You're an office manager for any company. You're a agent who needs to make a presentation or anybody in between. This tool from Canva is a really good way to create a meaningful and kind of easy presentation. Canva is a really good solution for this. And not only just the Canva presentation, but how do we get Canva Docs to presentation? Well, let's find out. Okay, so we are here in our Canva account. We're gonna go over here to Docs, and under Docs, we're gonna to go to Docs to Deck. And in Docs to Deck, it gives us a nice little template that kind of tells us how this works. I'm gonna get rid of that. And it starts from a, well, other than the quote, from a nice clean sheet of paper. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to create our outline for our slide deck. The, the, the technique here is to reduce the amount of time you're spending adding graphics and creating more work for yourself and uh, just to create something that's nice and useful for your brand or for your meeting. And so there's a couple things about this. The end result is gonna be a slide deck. Here we're creating an outline that will eventually, with a click of a button, be rendered into a presentation that's going to look pretty cool and be easy to use. We're going to go and start first and name this. This is going to be our training presentation. And this is going to be for an agent meeting at a real estate brokerage. All right. Now I can do a couple things here starting at the top is that you can see I am already assigned myself to my project. I can add collaborators. If you're using the Canva Pro account, you could add somebody else here. So again, I, uh, I have a meeting every month for my company that I have to perform. And so throughout the month I have using whatever second brain system you use. In my case, it's Apple notes. I keep a running list of the things that I want to talk about in the meeting. Well, I could start changing that up to this. And so perhaps myself and uh, my assistant or another presenter is also gonna be contributing in this meeting or short training. And so I'm gonna add them here so that we can be working on this together. And whenever an idea, I can just put it on the outline and eventually take that outline and create it into a slide deck. So let's start with something really basic. We're gonna start with a uh, welcome slide here. So we're just gonna go ahead and type in welcome. And then uh, today's date. So we'll say that this is April 6th that we're doing this meeting or that's the date of the meeting. And then I'm going to go down here and say, we're going to do a education program review. And in that education program review, there's going to be uh, a couple classes there. Now, when I hit forward slash in Canva docs, it gives me a menu item of the different things that I can embed in my presentation or my outline at all. And so I'm just going to go ahead and hit the forward slash and then I'm going to go and use bullet points. And in the bullet points, I'm going to say ABR designation, uh, antitrust uh, training. When I start creating this, it's, an, it's important to remember that to start each new slide, so I have to think about the end result first, I'm going to use a header tag. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on this plus button here and change it to heading so that it knows that's a new slide. And then I'm gonna hit return. And I can also do, again, the forward slash type in heading, and then it's going to start the next slide as a heading. And so I'm gonna say, this is gonna be a market uh, review what's going on in the market and I can either import the uh, data from a spreadsheet or I can go over here to elements and I'm going to go search for charts and I just happen to I'm already here and then I can go and add a chart so maybe I'm doing a competition on production for the agents and so I'm just going to put that number in there and then I can go and edit this chart with the data that needs to be in there and so series one is going to be you know I don't know listings and then series two maybe buyers with a lot of detail but you can add in there like the names buyer versus seller for example if you're doing a contest in your office so that you can have that information rolled and then I'm going to go to the next heading and then we're going to talk about uh, marketing ideas and again I can start with the bullet point of new ideas so new ideal I'm also going to want to insert um, a video so let's go say that I want to add a video there I can usually click here if I wanted a background video from the stock videos of my Canva Pro account 
or I can insert or embed a, another video, for example, from YouTube. So I'm gonna go down here to the embed and then I'm gonna type in or copy in the YouTube link and hit return. I don't want that in my marketing idea. That's gonna be a different slide. So we're gonna say, we'll just call this video slide. All right, and let's say after our video slide, I wanna do a, I don't know, mindful moment. So I'm gonna go back to heading because this is gonna create a new slide, call it mindful moments. And then I'm gonna hit enter. And then I can go over back over to my elements here and um, or upload. So if I have something that I really wanted to put in there for the agent to consider or a, just a project or whatever, I can go ahead and add a picture there um, for that slide. I can go ahead and I'm gonna do another one here where we're gonna create something. So I'm gonna just call this uh, creation slide. All right, and in the creation slide, I am going to uh, go over two elements here. And let's just say I want a man creating art. I can do a search and I'm gonna find line art. I'm gonna find uh, still photos. I can find videos here that I want to embed. So in this case, I just want this hand here and I'm gonna make that blue. And then I'm gonna actually, we'll make that white make that white because we want a different direction here. All right, and then we're gonna go and add our next slide here. And our next slide is going to be uh, something that we created with uh, magic. So let's say I just can't find a graphic that I want to use. I'm gonna go down here to <clears throat> the app and find media magic and say, create a happy home buyer who is standing in front of a home. Right, and I can go ahead and create that in a Filmic Pro. I want that in the square because I'm gonna put some content around it and I'm gonna hit generate and it's gonna cook for just a second. Okay, and now I have this, uh, this gal in front of the house. That's great. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. That's gonna be in the, the creation. And then I want one more bullet and graphics. So I'm just gonna put heading again, uh, bullets and graphics. Okay, so now that I have bullets and graphics, I'm gonna go ahead and add, and I go, you know, I just don't know what I wanna talk about in here, so I need some help. When I hit the forward slash or I click on the plus symbol, I'm gonna to go to Magic Writer and then say, please provide um, a list of four action items for a real estate agent to do to organize their business. Right, and then render in a bullet point fashion. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and I just needed some ideas here. I'm gonna click on generate. It's gonna go ahead and create those four bullet points for me. These are a little lengthy, but that's okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and insert them into my bullet point here. And then I wanna add a graphic and I'm gonna go back over to my elements here and then say uh, team working at table and let's see what it comes up with. And it gave me a graphic of people working together at a table or gave me a video. I'm gonna just keep that there. So I'm pretty good where I wanna be. And then I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna do a follow up or a finish video and say, okay, this is end of meeting. So I'm just gonna say, um, thanks for coming. So we'll do heading, uh, thanks for coming. And then I'm gonna add the date there so that it's dynamic. So no matter what, um, let's say if you will, whatever today's date is. So if I present this a week from now, it'll still have today's date on there. And so that's automatically inserted. And then I wanna go and add, um, I can add a number of things. I can add dividers, I can add checklists for things. I can mention people if there's a team member on here. Again, more charts, embedding emojis. And so we're gonna go ahead and just put a uh, goodbye emoji. Or we'll put a bad emoji because apparently there's no goodbye emoji. All right, so now I have got my outline. I've created my meeting notes. I've con added my content. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on convert up here. Now, there's a button to the left of convert called insights. And so I click on insight, it's gonna tell me how many words I use, the average read time, if somebody's reviewing this, um, the number of characters I use, if that matters. And then I can go look at the view. So if I share this online as a self-paced meeting slide deck, if I wanted to, I could see who, how many people actually engaged it and how many people used it. 
We could look at collab collaborator notes. We could leave back and forth for one another and results. It's pretty cool. I, I really like that feature. And I'm going to go ahead and hit convert here. And it's going to give me a selection of templates. And so there's some pretty good template ideas here, but you'll notice where it says my brand. And so what it did is it pulled up the colors for the brand, the last brand kit that I added. And I can go look at a preview here. Uh, what it's going to look like and that's pretty good i mean that's a good start at least I, I have to make very few edits here and so i'm going to go ahead and choose that i'm going to go with create my presentation now let's say i use the wrong brand kit or i did get a slide deck i didn't like i can go over here where it says styles and i can choose two different brand kits so i'm going to choose here my personal brand kit instead of my company brand kit, choose personal branding. And I'm gonna, I like that. I'm gonna hit apply all so it goes to all of the different slides. If you cl keep uh, clicking on personal branding, it'll change to different elements and different mixture of your brand kit where you have your fonts and your colors. And now I've got my slides and you can see it's embedded a video. It's embedded the pictures I've had. It's got a creation slide. Now, um, this may be, uh, so again, we have down here. So this may be a, uh, an element that is animated when it comes up. So we're going to go ahead and hit present now. And I want to make it not full view. In this case, I want to do presenter view. And we're going to go ahead and present here in a different window. And so what you'll see here is that I can see the control slide here. So this isn't what the people in your meeting see. This is what you see if you're using a dual monitor. And then you can see if you made notes, you can start making notes to each one of the slides so you don't forget. And then there's a, I've done a whole nother video on using Canva presentation. So I won't spend too much time on this, but it's a pretty slick little option here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, uh, stop on this. And I'm going to move this over here. This is the actual presentation that's being shown. And so you can see that it moves forward and I can go backwards and all the places. All right. And so it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with what it started off with. And then again, I can click on play and it'll play that video that I embedded earlier. And then I've got my marketing slides and my notes. And again, there's a bunch of different uh, ways that you can do this and change. This is just the first template that came up. If I don't like this template, if I've looked at it, I can go back over here to templates and I can look through some very good looking, very nice uh, templates here. Lots of great options. This technique is to get you started in that uh, process of uh, creating something from the docs. Again, we just typed in some notes. It took me a lot longer to explain it than it would for you to do it. And that is Canva docs to um, deck. Thanks for watching.